May 2nd, 2006. Apple starts the Get a Mac campaign. Two years later, Microsoft responds. Hello, I'm a PC, and I've been made into a stereotype. I'm a PC, and I'm not what you call hip. I'm a PC, and I wear glasses. I wear glasses. Hey, I wear glasses. I wear jeans. I'm a PC, and this MIS 301 Microsoft group project video is done on a PC. Our jumping off point for the Microsoft 2005 case is the section concerning digital strategies for consumers. The strategy that interests us the most is Microsoft's new project, Microsoft Surface. So why does this interest us? Because Microsoft Surface will soon check the mouse, check the keyboard, and more importantly, revolutionize technology. And why should Microsoft Surface interest the cause? Because they are going to use it in the near future, and because it'll change their lives forever, technologically at least, and that's important enough. Since 2005, companies as well as customers have created new challenges for Microsoft. These groups demonstrate Porter's model of five competitive forces. The competitive forces that can be applied here are the threat of new vendors, the threat of substitutions, and the rivalry among existing companies. Apple and Google exert forces on Microsoft and create new technological choices for customers, as well as offer substitutions to Microsoft's products. Google has a majority of the search engine market, dominates the mapping scene with Google Maps and Google Earth, and is to release an internet browser called Chrome. Apple has the highly successful iPhone, iPod, and MacBook. So amidst all this competition, rivalry, and bargaining power, Microsoft is in the need for a new lease of life. Enter Microsoft Surface. Microsoft Surface revolutionizes the way we interact with media, incorporating physical interaction through natural gestures and touch. This is largely different from typical touchscreen and interactive technology like that used in store purchases in the entertainment industry and in some restaurants. So how is it fancy? It allows direct interaction where users can actually grab digital information with their hands without the use of a mouse or keyboard. It consists of multi-touch software which recognizes many points of contact simultaneously, a fundamental difference from today's touchscreen technology. It facilitates multi-user function ability taking the form of a 30-inch horizontal table-like display which provides for a collaborative face-to-face -face computing experience. And lastly, it incorporates object recognition where users can place physical objects on the display to trigger various digital responses. What does this do for Microsoft? Being the first of its kind, it has the potential to deliver a relatively large competitive advantage to Microsoft. It's fresh, unique, and a bottomless gold mine. The introduction of Microsoft Surface will literally transform the way people shop, dine, entertain, and live. The concept of robust adaptive strategies is a useful tool in explaining the method Microsoft used to strategically discover and develop the Microsoft Surface. One key aspect of robust adaptive strategies is to look at the strategies of a company in a fitness landscape. The fitness landscape contains peaks, which represent successful adaptations, and valleys, which represent failed adaptations. Microsoft Surface would represent a peak in Microsoft's fitness landscape, whereas the highly unsuccessful Zoom would most likely represent a valley. So, in a constantly changing environment, how does Microsoft explore the landscape and discover new strategies and products? It does so by sending out a platoon of hikers to find the high peaks and avoid the low peaks. Researchers at Microsoft would represent the platoon of hikers as they seek out ways to stay ahead of competitors and test out new products and ideas. This consists of mixing short, medium, and long jumps. Microsoft Surface is a long jump on the fitness landscape because there was great risk involved with this strategy. Microsoft also maintained a short walk at the same time by continuously improving and updating the Windows operating system. To wrap it all up, since 2005, Microsoft has been dividing its forces and doing a considerable bit of walking and jumping within its fitness landscape. Its newest long jump, Microsoft Surface, looks to crumple the negative aspects of Porter's five-force model and give Microsoft a healthy competitive advantage over its competitors, such as Apple and Google. We won't be surprised if Microsoft's new advertising campaign sounds something like this. Hello, I'm a Mac, and I'm a PC. And I'm a... Ah!